In this problem, we're told a weightlifter lifts a 350 newton set of weights from the ground level to a position over his head, a vertical distance of 2 meters. How much work does the weightlifter do, assuming he moves the weight at a constant speed? So I went ahead and drew what was going on. So we have this person, right? And we know that they're 2 meters tall, right? Because they're going to lift it from ground level to their head is 2 meters, right? So basically, they're 2 meters tall. And so they're, we know the weight set is going to have a force of 350 newtons, right? That's going to be uh, the force on the weight set, right? So the force due to gravity, so he's going to have to lift it up with a force of 350 newtons if he wants to be able to lift it, right? So we're given a force, which is 350 newtons, right? So force equals 350 newtons, and we're also told uh, it's going to have a vertical distance of 2 meters. So essentially, the distance he's moving it is 2 meters, right? So this is the information we're given, and what are we trying to solve for? We're trying to solve for work, right? So work, just to note by W, and so how do we solve for it? So the formula for work, right, work is equal to force times distance. This is the formula you can use to calculate work, right? And so notice how we're given a force, which is 350 newtons, and we're given a distance, which is 2 meters, right? So when we solve this, what we want to do is just plug it in, but we need to make sure force is in newtons, which it is, and then distance is in meters. So they're in the correct unit, so we actually don't have to change anything. But essentially, all you have to do is just do wor uh, work, right, which is equal to the force, which is 350 newtons, and then multiply by the distance. And the distance it travels, right, is going to be 2 meters, right? So 350 times 2, that's just going to be 700. So the work in this problem, right, so the work done is just going to be 700, and then the units uh, is just going to be joules, right? So when you multiply Newton times meters, it's just joules, right? So the work is going to be equal to 700 joules, right? So this right here is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.